Okay, we are a Monday, the 12th of September. Yesterday is 9-11. Never forget 9-11, 21 years. Never forget what you were doing, or what I was doing anyway. Uh, got my tractor after that breakdown. I just wanted to bring it in and have jeans, uh, guys that go th over it and just make sure everything was good. They ended up finding another hose. I guess a loader hose that was bad. And uh, so I got a new line there. And um, got my oil changed. Had to buy that. You know, oil is just expensive. Um, and they straightened out my belly pan. And uh, just kind of got me, got the old girl back in order. She is a 2016, over 2,000 hours on it, and I couldn't be happier with this machine. Um, again, I put it through its paces. It's not meant to do a lot of the things I do it with, but it does everything I want to do. And uh, we're ready to go again. Okay, well, here's the project I was working on today. It has nothing to do with deer, but uh, I've worked with wood. Ever since high school, basically, you know, and my uh, babysitter asked me to do this arbor for them. So this is a wedding arbor. Let's see if I can back up away from it. It's not coat. I gotta stain it or uh, decorate it a little bit, and uh, should be done. They'll get married in front of it. So that's what my project was today. Uh, got the tractor. Got it. So, this week is I uh, got some more planting to do, some rye. We're going to Ann Arbor this week. Me and Grace are. So um, we got two and a half inches of rain last night. We're doing good. Okay, it is the 13th of September. Got the tractor back running good. Today we're at client property. He got it ready. He prepped it with a rototiller. Um, we are putting in perennial clover and cereal rye as the nurse crop so ladina or perennial clover in general it's got a mix of clovers he put a little bit of everything in it but takes about a year to get us fully established so the nurse crop the rye will all will come up now help nurse the clover in and um next spring maybe do some overseeding maybe not next june mow the cereal rye off and you have the continuation of your clover plot so that's what we're doing today looking good so ending the day here um, at my house i think this might be the last time i have my planter on so i'm kind of cleaning it out but i planted my trails and I'll show you this lane here I have. So here is a lane. This is the utility line I have and that's a neighbor's blind, which is illegal because it is within 450 feet of my house, which is right there. However, uh, we haven't been able to see them talk about it or anything like that and I haven't even seen anybody sit there so for right now nothing I can do so I'm just going down this lane cleaning out the planter um, to get ready to as far as I know it's the last planting I have uh, I may do a little switchgrass planting but I, I don't probably won't use this let me show you the trail I have down through the woods that I did too. Okay, there's the neighbor's blind. So that's property line. This is a long narrow 20. Running north and south. Predominantly. So I got switchgrass along here. And the road is right over there. So there's switchgrass there. That's a pile of wood from when the property was logged and we didn't own it. So it's just kind of sitting there. On this side I got a little food plot and some miscanthus at the end of that, right there, to block the road and 
to get the deer in here, hopefully safe, they went. A lot of the deer come from right over there. They cross the road. There's a, there's a um, drain, um, county drain that runs, water runs through it all the time. And it reminds me of those Illinois ditches that they have all over the place. But anyway, there's, it's hard to get to and there's not very many people hunt over there. I actually, I don't even know if they can. But they'll come out of there. Excuse me. They come over here, a little bit to eat, and then they'll start hopefully down this lit, uh, this lane here that I've got planted, and um, just go down here a little bit and show you. The property line is right there. I do have a stand right there, but um, I don't use it a whole lot. Um, it's for a good east wind or or out of the southeast wind um, but this lane kind of goes through this is an old logging trail and the deer really like to use it now I got these branches overhanging and um, we'll create mock scrapes along there and by let's see by the end of October I should have between oh, 30 and 40 active scrapes on this property between here and the back and wherever I can put them wherever I can see trail camera activity and um, deer activity in general so I got does around here we're gonna have hot does and that's what I hunt is hot does you know just so you know too um, the neighbors that's tough competition naturally over there a drain runs through that neighbor's property and that's tough competition right next to me but uh, like I said the other last episode about scouting we got corn that corn should hold deer a lot longer and Bring those does back in they're starting to come into their fall pattern. I noticed this morning on trail camera so Throughout the you know last seven eight years they've been doing the same thing and the only thing difference this year is I haven't seen very many bucks in general um, and I haven't seen any really good quality bucks yet, but uh, that's not out of the ordinary. Okay, can't get here's the uh, finished product. Of my wedding arbor, I did a wood burn on for the finish, so. We are ready to get married. Or I'm not ready to get married. I'm already married. They're ready to get married. Oh, September 14. We are um, lucky enough to have a pool here. Where Grace and I are. And I'm enjoying about for the next hour or so. Get to relax for an hour, three hour drive down here to Ann Arbor. We've got checkups tomorrow morning. And um, you know, maybe we'll share what we have going, but uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, this is uh, Wednesday night. Tomorrow, Thursday is uh, the checkups. And then um, hopefully we'll get back into some deer stuff on Friday. Well, at least she's smiling. So, uh, checkups went okay. We're here four and a half hours or so. Um, some good news and some not so good news, but hopefully overall we will, uh, you know, the, the benefits outweigh the negatives and, um, We'll get this girl back in shape and try to get the best quality of life we can give. Right? Have anything to say? Good luck hunting. Okay, today is Friday. Uh, I think it's the 17th. And I am uh, had to deliver the arbor um, to the wedding place. 
this morning so we did that my truck is actually in the shop so that is my vehicle right now thanks j and j auto for the loaner uh so i'm taking advantage of the time to organize seed from this year so over winter it's corn and some soybeans left over from the national deer association uh seed conservation seed drive so i'm organizing that i got my music stuff i gotta get organized trying to get the garage cleaned out the pole barn cleaned out it is a lot of work very overwhelming but a little piece out of a time and uh you know it's just I hate doing it. it is I'm not good at organizing. I wish I was. It's so time consuming, but um I just wish I was better at it. I'm not that great. I don't know if you guys got any tips for me, but I guess you just got to keep moving and going and stuff like that. So uh tonight's football game, tomorrow's soccer game. Um so pretty much not getting any deer work done. But trail cameras are on fire right now. So I'll post a few pics. Well, I don't have anything special. I guess a, nothing more bucks, I guess, anything special. But lots of trail cam pics. Lots of does and falls running around. Got to get the uh, shooting the bow. Uh, get that toned in and keep continuing with that. Got to make sure my tree stands are safe. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm even going out the first or not. I have a gig that day, so. Thanks a lot for watching, bug, and uh, God bless. Please subscribe, and um, we'll uh, got some work next. Got to catch up next week once I get my truck back. God bless.